Well, Albert, thank you for sitting down with me. Um, do you want to tell us a little bit about this upcoming film? Yeah, so the film is called Inside Out, and the thing that's exciting about this film that we're tackling is the film is about a young girl named Riley who's age 11, and the film, actually, though, the twist in this film is that the film is not actually about Riley. The film actually takes place within Riley. The main characters are her emotions, so okay. there's actually five emotions that we settled on um, populating the inside of her mind, and that's joy, fear, anger, sadness, and disgust. You're d the director of character art. Yes. So what was it like approaching, personifying these different emotions? Yeah, each one had their own problem. Um, specifically, th I worked on um, joy and sadness probably the most, and uh -huh. there was a lot of iteration because they were going to be two very important characters. Um, joy was a character that, you know, had a, we just thought of joy in its most, you know, sort of undistilled form, just completely raw, is really exciting, yet could be really annoying if it goes too far. You didn't want right. to attack her as being this overbearing cheerleader that was just happy all the time. Mm -hmm. We pitted her against Sadness, who's this character who's sad, but you can't make her too sad. You had to make her imbue just a little bit more emotion in her. The right. thing that became very apparent was that even though these are basic emotions, they had to have a range um, within themselves. To, so joy couldn't just be joyful all the time. We had right. to figure out what does sadness look like, you know, within joy, and what does happiness look like within mm -hmm. sadness. And yeah. playing around with that range was something that was really interesting and mm -hmm. fun to explore. Yeah, from the screening that we saw, uh, it looks like the characters are nuanced. They're not one-note emotions. So I think I commend you for your work on that. It, oh, it thank was you. Very, very great. Let's talk a little bit about your transition. You started working at South Park. Yes. And now you're at Pixar. Yes. Um, and those are, I mean, they're animation, but they're different tones, different audiences. What has it been like in that transition for you? Oh, yeah, it was a big transition for me at the time. Yeah. I've been at Pixar now for about 15 years, so oh, okay. that, tra that transition happened a that while a ago. Long, huh? I had just finished working on the first two seasons of mm -hmm. South Park, and it was a runaway success, and then yeah. that moved itself into making a movie, so I worked on the film as well. And okay. when I was working on the film, I discovered that I really liked working in the feature film sort of arena, and so okay. interested in kind of staying within feature films. Television was great. It has, there's things about television that I love. I love the fast pace, and right. you know, it's a very chaotic environment. <laughs> But to specifically, you know, continue working, I got really intrigued with staying in film, and so the opportunity was available to work at Pixar on uh, Monsters Incorporated for me back in 1999. Okay. And so, uh, my first job was actually working with Pete Doctor on that film, mm -hmm. and so it's been great. I've been there ever since, and it was an adjustment. I went from making this sort of edgy cartoon, still right. in the cartoon medium, to making these elaborate, you know, that was in a style that was done in uh, paper cutout South mm -hmm. Park, that is. Going to Pixar then was this really elaborate, slow sort of process. It went from being this pace of television where we had to turn out a show in a week to then working on a project at Pixar that was going to take four years right. to sort of develop. So going from running a sprint to running the ultimate longest marathon in the world possible was quite right. an adjustment. Right. So you have some unbelievable voice talent, Bill Hader, um, Amy Poehler. If you were doing an emotion in a film, what would you voice? What I voice? Um, I think oh, that's a good question. I haven't thought of much. So, <laughs> people have asked me what my favorite character is, and oh. it's definitely sadness. So I think really? it would be kind of okay. a blend between sadness and joy. Like okay. I'm actually a really happy person, but <laughs> but I have a lot of empathy, and it's interesting uh -huh. that I kind of gravitated towards working on those characters. I feel like it would be a joy sadness blend. I see. Okay. Yeah. Well, congratulations. You have a beautiful movie. I can't wait to see it. Well, thank you so much. Thank Albert. you so much for having me. All right. Good talking. Take to you. care. Nice talking to you.